Amen. Thank you, brother. Amen. People are falling away. Amen. Uh, that, you know, I'm talking about uh, uh, those who uh, at one time really loved God. You know, they, you know, at one time they, they were, uh, their love for God was so great. Amen. And so I, I just want to, I just want to exhort you guys this afternoon, praise the Lord, uh, that we have to take our walk serious. Amen. 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 We need to take our walk serious. And eternity is forever. And just, just look at the world. Amen. Just go ahead and look at the world. Amen. And guys, look, they, they don't they don't give a rip uh, about their soul. I mean, they do not care about. I mean, they, they don't they don't give. They, I mean, there's absolutely no concern about hell. There's no concern about the consequences. There's no concern whatsoever about. The, I mean, they just don't care about their soul. You know, you go there and preach to them, and they're like, "Big whoopie do." We don't care. We don't want to hear it. And and that's just the way that they see this. Amen. And I mean, they 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 are just they are just blinded by the devil. Amen. They're blinded by the devil. Amen. And I, I just want to exhort you guys that if you're walking with Jesus Christ, that if you if you if you have a if you have a a, a real genuine faith, guys, you got to keep your heart. Amen. Is that all right? You got to keep your heart. Amen. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 12. The Bible says this. Philippians 2 and 12. The Bible says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Amen. He's saying, look, you know, I, I, can't, I can't be around all the time. I can't give you counsel all the time. At some point, you're going to have to pull through yourself. At some point, you're going to have to understand this and, and get some kind of grip on what's going on. And he said, you're going to have to work out your own salvation because I'm not going to be there. In, in my absence, he said, I'm not, going to, I'm not going to be there. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Amen? Hey, guys, listen to me. I'm just saying that the, that, the, that the world is blinded by the devil. The world is blinded, but yet the Lord opened up your eyes. Amen? Yet, yet the Lord, He pulled you out of darkness. Amen? And what I'm saying is, is that you have the responsibility as a born-again Christian to keep yourself abiding in Jesus Christ. That's your, that's your responsibility. Amen? And you have to keep yourself abiding in that secret place of prayer. Amen. I said you got to keep yourself abiding in that secret place of prayer. Just like Jude, the Bible says in Jude verse 20, the Bible says, But ye, beloved, building up uh, uh, yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. Amen. And so prayer is how that, that we keep the heart on fire for God. Amen. Prayer is how we keep the heart on fire for Jesus Christ. It's not rocket science. It's not. It really ain't. It's not rocket science. You know, you 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 slacking in your work for God, Amen. Then ninety nine point ninety nine percent of the time, y'all slacking in praying. Is that all right? Amen. That's just 90, there, there, there's just a point, zero percent chance that you are praying. Amen. But I'm just saying uh, it, it, it never fails. If you're slacking in your work for God, Amen, in your attendance or in your in your outreach and witnessing all that, then I'm telling you what, what's happening is you're slacking, Amen, in your praying. And that's what the Bible says, Amen. The Bible says that it builds up your faith, Amen. As a matter of fact, it says that it builds up your most holy faith, Amen. It builds up that fire. Amen. That's burning on in the heart. Somebody say amen. Amen. And it's that fire. Amen. Of God's grace is what I'm preaching. Amen. That gives us the ability to fight the good fight of faith. It's that fire of the grace of God that keeps us. Amen. With our faith intact and keep it on. Keep it on. Amen. And keep it on moving through the thick of things. Amen. amen somebody. It's that fire of God's grace. And Jude says, as a matter of fact, if you skip down a couple of verses, verse 24, it says, Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Amen. 
unto him that's able to keep you from falling. Amen. And can I just tell you that that, 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 that precious grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, brother, is able to, to keep you from stumbling. Yes. Amen. And yet, we have to work out our salvation with fear and trembling. Amen. A.K.A., we got to take our walk with Jesus Christ serious. We got to take our walk with Christ serious and keep ourselves abiding in the Word of God. Amen, somebody? And we got to keep ourselves abiding in prayer. We got to keep ourselves abiding in prayer. I, I know that I sound like a broken record, and I, and I sound like a broken record saying that I sound like a broken record. Amen? But I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that we have to keep that holy fire burning in our hearts. We, we got to keep it burning in our heart. Acts chapter 2 and verse 40. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Amen? Save yourselves from this generation. Look, guys, hear me. Jesus Christ is the Savior. Yes, sir. Amen? Jesus Christ is the Savior, a.k.a. we save ourselves by abiding in Jesus Christ. Amen. And we have to abide in Jesus Christ. And God's grace saves us when we abide in Christ. His grace saves us. And God's grace will keep us from stumbling. Amen. God's grace. Amen. And, and we have to ready ourselves for the hardships. We're in the last days. We're in the end times. Amen. Tilly Winks is in the past. Amen. Tilly Winks has done come and gone. Amen. We in the we we in the big league now, Amen. We in the end times, Amen. And so, Pastor, what do you say? I'm saying that you've got to ready yourself for hardships that's coming, and we have to understand that persecution and that betrayal will come along the way. Understand that we have challenges, Amen. In our walk with Jesus Christ, and we got to ready ourselves for these hardships, Amen. And if not, if not, then brother, you're going to be like everyone else that's falling away. You're going to be just like everyone else that's falling away. You're going, to, you're going to go back into the world and you're going to lose your fire for God just like everybody else has, amen, along the way. And you're going to backslide and you're going to be like all the other worldly people out here in the world that deny Jesus Christ. They deny Him through their actions. They deny Him through their voice. They deny Him through everything. Amen, somebody? They deny Jesus Christ. And they just keep going on in the things of the world. The devil blinds their eyes to the gospel. He blinds their eyes to the gospel, and the devil just keeps on blinding them all the way to hellfire. Just blinding them on the way to hellfire. And so, Pastor, what are you saying? I'm, I'm saying here uh, in this message, I, what I'm saying is keep your fire burning. Keep the fire burning in your heart. Amen? And this is meant to be an encouraging word for you, not a browbeat, but uh, an encouraging word, amen, to be strengthened in Jesus Christ, amen, to abide in Christ. We're in the last days. We're in the dark days. And so it's time that we get a grip on that, that we understand that, amen, and that we uh, stay on the course, amen, and keep that fire burning in our heart and in our minds and do, a, do the work, amen, of God, do the work of an evangelist, amen. To spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. I, I tell you, I, 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 I've thoroughly enjoyed myself today. Amen. I got just, just, y'all, y'all have blessed me. Amen. I appreciate that. Amen. Today, of course, every Sunday I'm always blessed, but I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. Amen. I was blessed watching you guys play and, and sing for the Lord. I was blessed. Amen. To, uh, listening to Brother Brown. Amen. Uh, sang for us over there and, and the fellowship one, one with each other. And I, I, I tell you, that, that's, 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 that's fellowship. Amen. That's fellowship in the beloved. And so, uh, guys, I just want to say I appreciate you guys. Amen. And, and, uh, and, 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 just, and, and just keep your fire in your heart burning. Amen. For the Lord. Amen. And just keep on going strong for Him. Father God, right now, we just come before your presence, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this uh, worship here this afternoon, this, this fellowship uh, among the brethren and, 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 and the sisters, oh God, and, and the Lord. And I, I, just, I just thank you, Lord God, for, for all these guys, for the testimony, for the faithfulness uh, into the ministry, the faithfulness into the Lord, and their love that we can see as expressions on their face, oh God, uh, as they as they worship you and as they work for you and labor for the gospel of Christ. So, Lord God, we, we just pray, Lord, for this, for this up and coming week coming up. Lord God, as I begin to gear back up underneath the uh, word of God and laboring and preaching and ministering on the streets of Jackson, 
We just pray that you'll give me the boldness to speak. I pray that you'll give me favor with the, uh, with the police and the city and the councils here in Jackson. And also give me a favor with the sinners. And give me a favor with the church people that's out there that don't like the preaching. And uh, that, that you'll just uh, confuse their mind and that you'll shut them up uh, if they're, if they're uh, against any kind of street preaching. But that, that you'll just cause them to walk away and just, and just keep their negative thoughts to themselves. And, oh God, just, 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 just allow me to preach with grace this week and under the anointing of the Holy Spirit and that we, we, can, we can throw out the lifeline and that, uh, that uh, by the grace of God that we can, we can uh, keep on preaching and, and get this church uh, back filled up full of people that, uh, that uh, want to strengthen other people and that want to go back out there and begin to pull more people from the world and preach the gospel to them. Also, so Father God, I just give you all the praise and glory and the honor, Lord God, and we, we just we just thank you right now in the name of Jesus and everybody, hallelujah, in the building said amen. 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 Praise the Lord.